Hi, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Might be a challenging month of communication. That's clairsentience right there. So just putting that out there first. But let me tell you in general what this month is going to be about, what your general reading for March is. So we're going to look at your general feeling overall, the challenges you're going to face, the goals that you should keep in mind, something to work through, the vibes you're putting out to others. We're going to look at your finances. We're going to look at your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in between. We're going to look at your personal development, and then we're also going to pick you a crystal of the month if you're into that shit. Um, this video is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, although personally I think the moon signs resonate the best because I always get that in the, in the comments, so just so you know. Moon signs. <laughs> and then this is also if you're spying on a Pisces. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Pisces, the general feeling overall in the March, in the March of March, in the month of March, <laughs> is that maybe you don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Now, sometimes people will see the lover's card and they're like, oh my God, it's in reverse, we're going to break up. Maybe. But if that's the case, because that's not the way I'm reading it, um, is you just don't have a lot of choice in matters. Okay? So if you're broken up with, you don't get to decide that. <laughs> so let it go. Let it go, let it go. But they're saying like you're you're chasing after something with love, okay? So that's kind of what's going on in March for you. Either you're chasing after a person, trying to offer them love. Maybe you're trying to pour yourself into whatever it is you're doing. Maybe you're trying to mend friendships, relationships, things like that, make them better. You're pouring love into a lot of the things that you're doing in March. Oh, by the way, happy birthday. Yay. <laughs> okay, whoa. Hold on. And there it is, because I still have that tickle in my throat for no reason. Um, that's what they're saying, is it's very challenging in the month of March to speak the truth of what you're feeling, okay? The truth of what you're feeling, it's very, you might be starting to get really clear on it, you might have a lot of wisdom, but it's challenging to express it verbally, okay? That's your challenge in the month of March. Now, um, what kind of goal or advice should we keep in mind in the month of March in general and they're saying you need to take some time out of your life like from your regular life and just kind of be alone and think things through okay um and I want I'm getting like a special message for somebody that leopards don't change their spots because of that snow leopard all of a sudden that just popped into my head so um just remember that. Go be by yourself. Remove yourself from the situation and think to yourself, if this is a pattern that I've seen on repeat, even though, you know, so-and-so is telling me it's going to be different this time, it's never been different and I need to really think about that. Can I accept it as it is without the change or do I need that and need to just, you know, walk away from this friendship, this relationship, this job circumstance, okay? So, what are the vibes that you're putting out in the month of March in general? And they're saying um, that you're coming to the end of a cycle, like you're all about completion. And maybe that's why you need that time in solitude to really understand leopards don't change their spots. They don't become zebras. They don't become tigers, right? They don't go from spots to stripes. <laughs> and so it's, it's definitely a month of like, okay, I'm getting serious about what I'm going to deal with, what I'm not going to deal with, and I'm putting up boundaries. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but I could see a little angel orb out of the corner of my eye right here floating by. So you might want to like go back and see if you can see it. But that means that's a very important message for at least one person watching this video. Okay? Um, so... We're going to look at your finances next. In general, what do your finances look like? Um, things don't change overnight, and so that sucks because you might not be feeling particularly successful this month. Um, but you are going to be coming towards the end of March into like a greater control 
um, to like into this cycle of like greater control and stuff over your finances. So whether that's like you create a budget for yourself, you start um, monitoring how you're spending your money, where you're spending it, that kind of a thing. Um, whether you become your own boss, it's very much that kind of an energy. Um, you leave your corporate job and you start your own business, something like that. But you're coming into this place of like greater control and like wisdom. Uh, in regards to your finances. So what are the challenges that you'll be facing in regards to finances in March? And they say acceptance. <laughs> I'm learning that I can't change some things. Okay, I'm accepting that truth. There are some things about my life, about my finances that I can't control. And so I think that's why we're starting the month maybe in regards to our uh, finances kind of like, oh shit, man. Like, this is outside of my control and then figuring out a way to, like, stop worrying and stressing about the things we can't control, but take greater control of the things that we can, okay? So a good example, um, maybe you're divorced and you have to pay child support, right? So you can't really control a lot of that. Like, that's going to be taken from your paychecks and that is calculated not by you. It's not really negotiable. It is what it is. You can't just decide one month you're not going to pay it or you're going to pay a bunch of it in advance and not pay it later. Like, it doesn't work like that, okay? But what you can control is, like, the other aspects of your finances, right? Like, I am not going to buy these things. I'm not going to go out every Saturday, only every other Saturday. I am going to take this promotion even though it requires me to move or, you know, things like that. So maybe that wasn't the best example. Analogies have not always been my strongest suit. My apologies. I am not an analoger. I'm a tarotist. <laughs> okay, so your overall goal um, for, like, or something to keep in mind, your advice in regards to finances are three things. The first one, you've got to heal yourself emotionally in regards to finance. Okay, so here's the deal. If you really get down on yourself and you blame yourself for a lot of things instead of just like forgiving yourself and moving the fuck on and making changes, you're going to stay in this negative energy and this negative vibration with money and then you're not going to attract more of it. That's how the law of attraction works. So they're saying accept the situation as it is and don't try to fight it because like we said, a lot of these things aren't in control, but as you come to the end of the month, you realize which elements of your financial situation are within your control and then you control the shit out of those so good for you you're learning um and then they're saying use your instincts in order to discern the truth of all situations sometimes we tell ourselves that things are not within our control and they are and then other times we really get this idea that like we can control other people or we can control certain things that we really can't this happens in relationships all the time like okay um I don't want so-and-so to cheat on me, so I'm going to track their phone so I know where they are at all times. That doesn't stop them from cheating on you. It just helps you have proof that they're doing it. You know what I mean? It doesn't stop anything. You cannot control certain things, but we need to be able to recognize by stepping back and being kind of in that um, solitude and really thinking things through what are the things I control, can control and what are the ones I need to let go of? And that's kind of your task in regards to March in general, but specifically in your finances. So looking at your love life, what's up for single Pisces in March? Okay, so it's like you just may not be seeing very good options around you. It feels very unlucky. It feels like even though you're meeting maybe people who say they want the same things, that you have different ideas on um, how to get there. So, you know, maybe you make an online dating profile and you're like, I'm looking for somebody long term. And you're attracting all of these people who are also looking for something long term, like not a fling. But um, they want a very different life than you do. And so it's very frustrating for you in the month of March. So um, what is your guidance in regards to um, being single in March and trying to attract the love that you want? And they say, um, well, the problem is that you're not always acting on opportunities that are in front of you, okay? Because this was in reverse. Now it's saying um, you're not committed to really following things through. So maybe you see a hottie in line at Starbucks and you're like, oh, I should talk to that person. I should talk to him. I should talk to her. 
and but you don't but you psych yourself out and you don't do it and they're like you need to be really committed to the fact that you do desire to meet somebody um, who is like-minded that wants the same things because right now you are drawing in people who in general terms want the same things but there's all these really weird and annoying details that just don't mesh with your life and so if you could try to write down very specifically the things that you're trying to manifest that might help you bring those to, into fruition now for those of you who um Oh, what kind of vibes are you putting out in regards to your love life for single Pisces? Um, well, uh, uh, some people are seeing you as deceptive. Why is that? Um, because you have some heartbreak in regards to a past love where you gave a lot of love to a situation. So you're creating walls. So you're a little bit guarded. And so then, um, you know, when you're telling somebody your story, you're meeting each other, you're getting to know each other. They say, hey, what happened in your last relationship? And then you tell them and you say, hey, yeah, but I'm over it. So, you know, I'm looking for a long-term thing. They're like, I don't fucking believe you. You're still in love with that person. And for some of you, that's true. But you need to be really cautious. Um, like, again, like we mentioned, the way that you're speaking in order to um, – Make sure that you're not pushing people away because they're viewing you as a liar, whether you are lying or you're not. Um, so for those of you who are coupled Pisces, what does March look like? They're saying, well, you're hoping for things to be beautiful and wonderful, but you're just not talking about it. <clears throat> Again, that frog in the throat. <laughs> okay. So why aren't you talking about it? Because you know that maybe by not talking about things, um, it's like this superstition that you're afraid that you're going to fuck things up by talking about them. Now it's 11, 11 in the morning as I'm making this reading. So that is, um, that's an angel number and that's all about your wishes, your desires, things coming true for you, paying attention to signs. So you have this like superstition that if you mention to your partner what you want, that maybe you're not going to get it or maybe you're already getting it and instead of expressing gratitude for it, you're afraid that it's going to be thrown in your face. Like, okay, well, I'm giving you what you want. Why aren't you giving me what I want? Or um, maybe like it's so, too good to be true. So if you mention it, if you acknowledge it, it's going to go away. And that's an irrational fear actually, at least this month. So what kind of vibes are you putting out to your partner and they're saying um, that you are being honest, that you are being a clear communicator. And so these things that you're hiding, that you're suppressing, that you're not speaking, they have no clue that they exist. So you can't get pissed off later if they can't read your mind. Now, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Okay. So... The energy here is about abundance and it's saying I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into reality. And this is true in your relationship. And um, But there is that fear, like we mentioned. So you're not necessarily doing it, but you it definitely should be. So what's the guidance? Um, maintain your dignity no matter what and other people will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So you just need to be very um, verbal with them and say, hey, these are the things I desire. These are the things I demand. These are the things that I need and expect that they will be given to you because they shall in your relationship. Your relationship actually looks pretty healthy this month. Um, the, the only things that are maybe not healthy are the things that you're not telling them. So there's that. What's up with your personal development in the month of March? What's going on with you, your growth, your emotions? And they're saying things are way different than they have been in the past, like especially in regards to the way that you're viewing hurt and pain. You're learning to love um, the fucked up things that happen to you as lessons, right? To pour love onto those, to maybe even express forgiveness. So that's amazing. Um, they're saying that, yeah, like some bad shit happened. Some of it was your choice. Some of it wasn't. And like for those of you who are single, again, it's like that defensive energy, like maybe pushing some things away and maybe not letting love in, but this is a lesson and it's something that we're working through in the month of February. So um, to further that lesson, they're saying, I'm releasing my need to control things. <laughs> hmm, kind of goes back to where we started with finances. You cannot control everything. And, and that's something we're learning. And so they're saying, <clears throat> again, oh my goodness. You know, this is so weird because I haven't had a, like any issue in communication at all today until this reading. <laughs> so 
it, it, communicating exactly what you're thinking, exactly how you feel, biggest thing in March for Pisces. So what they're saying is you have to um, stand out and let yourself be noticed, okay? And um, it's almost like you might need to demand that. You might need to tell people, look, Look at me, I'm growing, I'm shifting, I'm moving, I'm changing. Here's what I need, and I'm not afraid to ask for it. You don't want to be viewed as meek. You are coming into a different type of control than you've ever had before. One that is more balanced and realistic that yields you results, okay? Now, um, I want to talk about your crystal of the month. So uh, for those of you who are into crystals, awesome. Um, for those of you who aren't, whatever. But... So before I do the readings, I pull out your crystal of the month, something to kind of help you get through the month if you're interested in um, using crystals on your path. And you have the rose quartz, so you can have it rough like this, you could have like a polished um, whatever. But what rose quartz does for you is it brings harmony to situations and it brings a lot of inner peace, a lot of joy. It actually helps you to attract love. So if you're looking for love or you're trying to get over an old love and then welcome in a new one, this is the stone for you. So you can pick one up at your local crystal shop. If you get it from me, um, it's the exact crystal that I did pull for you this month. And then on top of that, you get like a video series that's um, private that only Patreon subscribers get that, um, tells you how, all these different ways to use them, to care for them. It comes with a printout. It tells you all of its health benefits, all of its spiritual benefits, its emotional benefits, um, which angels are called in with your crystals, blah, blah, blah. So you can check that out on my website if you want or just to learn about it and what the Rose Quartz Crystal does. But otherwise, I will see you soon for love reading. Happy March and happy birthday. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!